Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time on Half Pass. And if you're just wondering, wait a second, Half Pass, haven't you done already one of those? Yep, I did. But on that one I didn't have a solution on well the inbuilt draw health bar function of Game Maker Studio, which is just saving you lots of time and effort. So for example, what you are seeing now is the implementation of two drawn health bars on top of each other. So basically one which is just showing your actual HP and the other one a follow-up. So this is what you can do in Game Maker Studio quite fast and quite easy. This is one of Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Source and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you are new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video. So let's get right into the good stuff and how you can actually do that. And for that I have a little illustration, yay. So let's go a little bit uh, in detail what draw health bar actually entails. And for that we need a few things. First of all, three parameters, which is a, a HP, which is just the actual one, which is one to one with the, what, is, what is left over. Then a follow HP, which is a lerp function between well, itself and the HP, and it tries to follow it up with, let's say, 0 0.2. Uh, 0 .0 0.0.2, 0 0.2, so basically just uh, 2%, and the max HP, and that you actually see here. So that is the max HP, this is the full, and here to the left side it would be empty. And the draw HP function actually requires a few things. First of all, the coordinates of the, well, where the health bar is need to be drawn, and that we need and decide by taking those two four points one two three point and four four points here we go and for that we for example let's say we start at this point here so this is the x and the y position of well, our sprite because what i do in here i just use the function as a parent object for all my enemies so basically every child of my object enemy will be having this well, health bar, which is kind of nice to have. So let's get back in here. As you can see, well, everybody is having a more small or big health bar. And for example, for this dude, the health bar is quite big. It has a reason, but well, because they are, for example, they are all boxes are a little bit bigger. That's why they're drawing it quite huge. So. What do we need for that? Let's go back into our draw event. And here, we just start here. We take the sprite width, or let's say this is our sprite. Go halfway to the left side, because that, because that would be the whole width, let's say. We just go, let's say, half to the left and half to the right from its X position, which is just this little point here in the middle. And then we have uh, this well, this side and this side are already declared. And now we need, well, the height, and then we just go from its Y position, go up the sprite height. And then, of course, we need a little buffer, so we just put, I don't know, five pixels or a value you want to use, and then you just use it. And here, for example, then we have like this point, this point, then, of course, go a little bit up, and then we have all our four points assigned. And how can we do that? Well, as I told you, just go for the x value, then go round it up and take the sprite width and subtract it from the x position and then we add it. And same stuff, we take our y value, subtract because we want to go up, and then we have a little buffer of let's say uh, 5 and then we just do that because for the fourth point go up as well. And then a few things. Um, but they are quite long, but you don't have to uh, well care about that stuff. Basically, we just need uh, two values. First of all, the relative value of our HP, which can be between 0 and 100. And for example, if you just go on... No, 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 that's not it. If we press F1 here, there's the whole function. Well, in detail, and we need the amount. And that can be between 0, can be between zero and 100. So that's why 
we need to assign our actual half. And then the last three things which are kind of important. If you want to have a border, if you want to show well, the background which is black, and we for the green one we don't want to show it because what well, you wouldn't be seeing the stuff well behind it because this is how it looks like behind it. Well, we have our follow-up bar, and that one has as a background, so it goes to the maximum value a black bar as well. So one has a black bar, and the other one doesn't have because they kind of overlap. So let's get back into the this stuff here. So basically. What we do here, we just say for the one which is just drawing orange, it's just an orange color and the black color in the back as a background. So we just say, yep, we want to have a background and we want to have some um, um, some some margin. And for the, the green one, which is the actual one, we just want and deactivate its margin and we deactivate its background color. And that's why here we have like HP divided by max HP, so this is the actual HP. That is the follow one which is just lurping, so this one is following behind. And once we start the game, it looks like this. Oh Jesus, oh, and let me just slaughter these guys here. As you can see, we have, hopefully you can see it, a black background here. Then a follow up, these guys are annoying. Um, let's just destroy them here. Yep, that's much better. So as you, for example, as you can see, we have a black background, then the green thingy, and then just it's going into yellow territory. I guess I put it onto yellow, yeah. And then with a the follow-up, which is just orange. So I have a green as a maximum value, and a yellow if it's going into less HP. And this is how you can do it. Have a good one. One up in.